This is a good idea. What is up guys? Welcome back. Okay, I'm so excited. Wow. So today, we're gonna be tie dyeing. I don't have a tie dye kit, so we're going to be using bleach and we're going to do it on black clothing, obviously. So tie dyeing with bleach. Fun little activity for quarantine. I don't really know what is going on with this situation. Okay, so for today, we're gonna do this black crew neck. Obviously, it's just plain. I think it's from Champion and a pair of plain black sweatpants. They look like two different blacks, but whatever. I am pumped because I feel like tie dye always turns out dope regardless, so let's get to it. Black sweatshirt, check. Black sweatpants, check. Bleach, check. Let's go. sweatshirt and the sweatpants. The guy I was watching on TikTok, oh fuck, what was his name? Okay, so he uses a fork to get that like spiral. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Good thing we're in the kitchen. I think he does the arms separate from the body. Obviously I changed into a white tee for no bleach stains and then these sweatpants are hella old, so whatever. Okay, the sweatshirt is laying face down. So I guess we'll do the arms first. Should I try to do a spiral on the arms or that's gonna look weird? Definitely doing a spiral in the center, obviously. Oh, okay, let's just... Oh wait, no, he roped off the arm. tighter the folds the more crisp it is so I'm just gonna fold the arms like over on top of each other like an accordion I would say sure I guess we'll just do the arms the same so then they'll be somewhat uniform I mean this flavor okay to the main event Make a bunch of creases, I guess. 
I can't even tell you the last time I tie-dyed. I'm having like childhood flashbacks. container thing okay so I'm gonna put the bleach in this thing to help like distribute it evenly because I didn't have the bleach with the like the little nozzle on the top you know you've seen it whatever so this is what we're gonna do hopefully it turns out I'm nervous I'm gonna use the kitchen sink because my bathroom is a mess and it's just me so Ooh, I'm excited, okay. I literally have no idea how much to use, so we're just gonna go all over. be using gloves to do this don't do what I'm doing okay so here is how we are looking stay tuned so I'm here to provide an update and I'm a little embarrassed because who can really f up tie-dye I used concentrate not the regular bleach so i checked back in like 10 minutes 30 minutes an hour after i originally did this and there was no coloring i was so confused and then that is when i realized so long story short i just went up and poured some of this in the same little bottle that i used from earlier and now it's already starting to turn so i'm gonna give this a half hour and we'll see if we have any progress. All right, well, it's been like 30-ish minutes. I put some gloves on. I'm just gonna rinse these through with cold water and we will see. The sweatshirt is looking way more <laughs> likely than the sweatpants. Don't know what the difference is here, but here goes nothing. impressed with the way this turned out I really was unsure especially with the sweatpants but like they turned out so good I'm so excited I wanted to show you too a couple different ways you can style a sweatsuit because obviously the first way I styled it is just wearing it together as a nice like matching cord piece um, with a pair of sneakers so I have my Yeezys on here super casual but it makes you look way more put together when in reality you're literally wearing a sweatsuit so to style it if it's still a little chilly like right now in New York we're kind of going back and forth with the weather being cold still so you can also layer it with a, like an oversized leather jacket I got this one from a thrift shop in New York called L train if you're ever in New York go check Check it out it's a great thrift shop and then I paired my Doc Martin platform boots with the leather jacket look as well and then obviously you can take off the leather jacket if it's hot but it's kind of a nice like layering piece and way to style the sweatsuit and then the third way I put it together was obviously just using the hoodie I love especially for the springtime an oversized hoodie with over-the-knee boots keep saying hoodie it's not a hoodie the sweatshirt I picked is like a double XL I love like oversized sweatshirts so you can wear them this way too which is super cute Throw it on with a bag once we're finally able to get out of quarantine. You'll be looking fresh in your new $5 sweatsuit that no one knew was $5. So yeah, that's about it. I'm actually so impressed with the way it turned out, like I keep saying. Um, I would say the one tip I have if you want it to be maybe a little more on the bleach side. I didn't really go in between the layers with the bleach. I just kind of sprayed it all over on the top. So I feel like it would have 
kind of filled in between a little more if I had gone like in between the folds or like in the crevices but I actually kind of like that the base of it is still mostly black but you still get a good pop of the color so yeah that wraps up today's video thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below in the comments if you're gonna try it or if you have tried it also make sure you hit that subscribe button down below please and stay tuned for my next video